today we're gonna do something different. Something I've been dying to do, but I don't like doing it. It's, uh, I'll do this once in a great blue moon. We are gonna do a versus video between the Ryobi and the Heart. Uh, both brushed drills. We're gonna do a little versus video when it comes to uh, drilling holes, but also, that's gonna be short, but also what we're gonna do is we are gonna have these two do a fight to the death. Now, I got this with the, the holiday sale of 2019 kit. You know, you get uh, some screwdrivers, uh, pl uh, right, Ryobi screwdrivers and pliers. It was like an $80 kit during the holiday sale and it came with the drill. And this, uh, same thing with, uh, with this, this came in a homeowner's kit. Now, when it comes to these doing versus videos against the other brands, these two specific drills are not gonna last that long. All right, uh, versus video is coming up soon of the Ryobi brushless uh, drill and the heart brushless drill. Now, I do have the four amp hour battery for the heart, which we're using that in this video. Of course, I have uh, all the uh, batteries for the Ryobi. So this is coming up soon, but today we are doing these two. We're just gonna do a little test when it comes to drilling holes, but then we're just gonna go to the fight to the death and see which one will outlast the other one with connecting the chucks together and just have them going at it. All right, so the, so the heart is model number HPDD50, 20 uh, volt system, of which under a load it's actually 18. Uh, zero to 600 RPMs. I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Uh, 23 point clutch plus drill. Uh, 3 8 inch chuck. Now, the, of course, the inside of the chuck is metal uh, with uh, plastic housing. And so, yes, the battery on this is full. There is a fuel gauge on the 4 amp hour uh, heart batteries. Battery is full. And so, the Ryobi is model number P277. Uh, two speed settings. This is, goes to 0 to 440 RPMs and on speed 2, 0 to 1600 RPMs. Uh, this is a 23 point clutch plus one. Metal inside interior chuck with a plastic exterior. And the heart is a variable trigger only. Uh, no speed settings. But we are going to see which one prevails. Alrighty, so we are going to use the heart first. 4 amp hour battery. Battery is full. Uh, we're gonna do some simple stuff. We are gonna do a one inch hole to begin with. We are gonna see how well this performs. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so ready, go. Holy cow. All right, speed one. Wow. Yep, so far the heart is is looking good against this drill. And I'm a, I am a huge Ryobi fan, but this specific drill is absolute garbage. Like, I love my Ryobi brushless hammer drill. I love this drill, but this, this one is garbage. All right, so let's try that again on speed one. Obviously, it needs speed one. All right, so ready, go. Oh my God. It's through. All right, all right, so that's and that's it. Right, so let's go head to head. So for this shot, we're gonna use a special 35 millimeter prime lens, and it's gonna be super crystal clear, and the background's gonna be blurry. This has an f-stop of one to one, to 8G. So remember, safety first if you ever do this, wear a mask, glasses, and gloves. And I have my garage door open, so, so yeah. That is, all right, so, ready? Let's hopefully, let's make sure, I'm hoping my rig stays in its place. All right, so ready, go.
think the Ryobi died. Hard. Yep, the Ryobi died. Ryobi died. Oh, barely alive. Yep, the Ryobi died. Well, let's kill it, like 100%. Ryobi died. Alright, so let's do a quick temperature reading before it cools down. Alright, and so the uh, heart the heart got up to 72 degrees. The heart remained a lot. That, that's not even warm to the touch, but the Ryobi completely fried out. Yeah, but the Ryobi's dead. And yes, this lens I had for a while, but I never use it. Just because uh, it's uh, it's for a specific thing that I, I want, like stuff like this. I should start taking pictures with this lens because this lens is amazing. The ECG Construction, I think, uses a prime lens for their uh, thumb thumbnails. Let's see if, it's, if it lost power or if it still uh, has uh, the same amount of juice in the motor. Our battery is at three bars. All right, so ready? Go. All right, and as you can see on the Ryobi, the battery is full, but no activity whatsoever. This is a dead motor. So in the future, we are going to take this apart and look at what uh, what uh, messed up inside. But yeah, the heart won this test because uh, I knew that this specific uh, drill would die easily. The heart didn't even... Uh, didn't even take a little lick. Heart's still going strong. Uh, what I could find is 133. 133. So the heart won this test. Which I like I said, I knew that this specific drill would die. Because this drill sucks. This drill is extremely old school. They didn't upgrade it or anything. They just threw this in the kit just to make it the price uh, seem all right, which this, uh, this drill sucks. Do not buy this drill. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this little versus video and for the first time do a head to head and see which one wins. It was fun to do. It was fun to watch the actual results, you know, right up front. Uh, and yeah, the, my garage did smell for a little bit, but the smell is gone, luckily. So, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.